What's up YouTube, this is JP Panther, back with a video, and today's video is actually a DC News update video. Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So this comes from a Hollywood report, it says DC Comics, DC Universe hit by major layoffs. And it's talking about, listen, I, I will link, the, link it so you guys can read the whole entire thing, but pretty much it talks about how... You know, I'm just going to give you the sum up of this. And you guys kind of already know. If you guys have been paying attention to the comic book history, I'll just keep paying attention to how things are going. I'm not going to read that on the entire article. You guys kind of already know what's going to happen. Uh, you guys can find out the information. In my personal opinion, here's the thing when it comes to the DC layoffs, whatever. Again, number one, it's sad that people are losing their jobs. Number two, Ian, this has happened with, at least with the American comic book industry. I've been kind of talking about this for a while. I know other YouTubers have been talking about it as well. The problem is, is that, you know, DC and Marvel Comics, they've been trying to pander to this woke SJW, social justice warrior, uh, woke Twitter crowd that don't buy comics. You feel me? And I think, in my personal opinion, AT&T and, you know, Warner Brothers and Disney and all these major companies, they're in debt. They got shareholders, investors, and, you know... You know, people at the top being like, I want my money now. I don't give a crap about no coronavirus. I don't care about no virus. I don't care about none of this shit. I need my bread now. So they're looking at, like, I think at t and Warner Brothers are looking like, yo, DC Comics ain't really bringing the money like that. And I think they're going to just get rid of it completely, in my opinion. This is like, this just shows you that this is the downfall of the American comic book industry. Because manga's fine, man. You know, My Hero Academia is the second most popular TV show during, you know, in America. You know, it got really popular because of the pandemic. You know, it was fucked up, but it's true. You know, the pandemic really accelerated the popularity, not even just in... My Hero Academia, uh, Demon Slayer, Black Clover, and other anime mangas as well. So, anime manga is pretty much fine. Now, when it comes to the American comic book industry, it's very, very sad, it's pathetic, and it shows you that they tried so hard to pander to these people. And I looked at these freaking comics, man, like, you saw the cover with, like, you saw, like, the New Warriors, which is, like, binary, I mean, it's freaking bad. And then you have it where freaking Wonder Woman was just fat and made her obese or whatever it is, like, you know, you know, Gotham High, like, no one's buying these books. And the problem is, is that, you know, you're trying to pander to these people, and the main difference is that you're not put, first of all, if you have a big budget movie, you should tell them to go promote the comics. I remember I did a I tweet, I was like, yo, I, I sent a tweet a while back, I was like, anime and manga, I forgot exactly what it was, it was, uh, you know, I said, manga is destroying American comic books. DC and Marvel, they have no excuse. I said something like, uh, ma pretty much manga is destroying everything. And um, DC and Marvel have no excuse because they have these big budget movies that make billions of dollars. And you can't use the big budget movies or convince the normies or the people who watch this shit or peer pressure them to buy the books. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. You guys... You guys have this big platform, and you guys don't even do that shit. It's like, hey, if you buy a ticket, make sure you go and support the industry. Or even when, like, the movies come out, it's like, hey, make sure you support your local comic book shops and stuff. Like, they don't do any of that shit. It's like, hey, before the movie comes out, hey, this is where you go to buy DC uh, comics and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They don't do none of that shit. This is like, here's the movie, blah, blah, that's it. Hey, here's what it is. Let them do whatever they want. And now they're crashing and burning. And I do blame a lot of it's on Warner Bros. at t I do think the DC uh, comic book writers, a lot of it's their fault too, doing all the stupid shit. And it just shows you that, you know, if they would have never, if they would have actually catered to their audience like the Japanese are with anime and manga, they would be making a bunch of money. But instead, they want to keep race swapping, gender swapping. They want to do all this dumb shit. They keep rebooting it over and over and over. They can't be consistent. And also part of it with DC Comics, even Marvel Comics, is that it's too freaking expensive. Like, for example, like, I have the Weekly Shonen Jump app, right? You pay $1.99 for a like all the Shonen Jump uh, comic book uh, catalog, you feel me? That's a, you save a lot of bread. What you pay like what like twenty dollars, twenty four dollars a year? That's twenty four, twenty five dollars a year. That's pretty good. It's very, very affordable. You can't really bitch about the price. Where freaking DC and Marvel, you freaking buy a digital comic uh, issue. It's like five, like four, like. Four ninety nine. You feel me? Five ninety nine. Whatever it is. You feel me? You times that by like ten. You're you're spending like fifty dollars, man, on just one issue. You're not even buying the whole entire thing. So it's like you know they're not even making it affordable for people to buy it. And me, in my personal opinion, just like the American comic book industry, they just been doing dumb shit for um like. 
past five, six years, man, at least. You know what I mean? I know DC, they messed up with the new 52. I was like, oh, the 52. I know people have issues with the new 52. I enjoy some of it for what it is. Rebirth was pretty good. Then after that, they got rid of, Re or they got rid of Rebirth. I'm just like, I'm done. Fucking done. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, American comic books would destroy your freaking money. I mean, I had no problem spending it because I liked it. Then after that, I'm like, you guys keep rebooting and doing all this other bullshit, blah, blah, blah. It's unbelievable. But also, for example, like, we were talking about manga. You can go to a Barnes & Noble or go on Amazon and be like, hey, this is volume one, volume two, volume two. Like, you make it easier for the normies to buy. You don't do that with American comic books. There's like a hundred different Batman. You go to a Barnes & Noble or bookshop, there's like a hundred different Batmans. How are you going to tell which one is the right Batman? You feel me? Where manga, you go in there, it's like, oh, it's volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four. I mean, it is so, it's so easy to get normies into it. It's not even funny. It's all connected to one story. So it's at, and it's like, you know, if you want to buy, you know, uh, a manga, right, which is um, uh, $9.99 for 150 pages or 200 pages uh, for $9.99, it's very, very affordable. Get a freaking American comic book, you're spending, what, one issue for 20 pages for one issue for like $5.99 or $4.99, that's expensive, man. That will hurt your wallet, you feel me? Like, you know, you're not even making it affordable. So how the hell are you going to get the mainstream people or the casual people, uh, into it if you're not even doing it. Also, the problem is that a lot of the comic American comic books are just not selling. You know, they want to blame it on the the coronavirus and stuff like that. No, there's other stuff as well. You know, what I mean, you keep don't uh, making out trash uh, product. You know, or you know, treating the customer base like shit. And the customers that you do have, you don't want them. You want the the people that are gonna retweet and you know yell like crazy. And then also, you have the comic book writers who are just SJW as well. You got Kelly Subicane, you got Gail Simone, you got all these other wild ass people in these freaking businesses. Where Warner Bros. ATT is like, listen, we gotta get rid of you guys right away. You guys ain't bringing the money. Um, you know, we need. We are people of business, not this people of SJW bullshit, and we need to make money. You know, you guys ain't bringing the money. And I feel like, in my personal opinion, a lot of it is that they're looking, I'm telling you, these shareholders, investors, I guarantee you they're looking at anime and manga. I know they are. At least with manga, right? Because you could tell, like, something like Demon Slayer, right? They're thinking, like, okay, these American DC Marvel comics ain't selling shit, right? They're looking at Demon Slayer and be like, oh, it's sold. 80 copies, that ain't shit. No, that's 80 million copies worldwide. What? 80 million? They're thinking like, oh, wait, that, and you times that by 10. It's like, hold on, that's $800 million just by comic book sale. That's crazy. They're thinking like, how many prostitutes I can buy with that money? That's like a million prostitutes, $800 million, and that's just in the comic books here. And they're like, listen, Warner Brothers ATT, how come Demon Slayer, My Academia, Black Clover is able to make all this freaking money in comic book sales, but your DC shitty comic books can't do the same thing? We need y'all to get rid of these motherfuckers. If you don't, we're not going to give you no more money. And we're about to pull out at what without shares and stuff like that. And AT and T and Warner Brothers, they're like a hundred and like billion in debt or some shit like that. They're they're in, they're in a lot of debt. You feel me? So they need to cut as much stuff as well. Also, I know they're cutting out Crunchyroll, which I'm like I don't know why they're doing that because anime's gonna make you more money in the future. But I guess they're just like it's not making the fast fast money right away. Crunchyroll is something I think you have to wait for a long term type of thing. I think it will make a lot of money in the future. But the argument's like, oh, well, you know, we need to make more money now. But again, that's more of a patience thing. And again, if it's a business, it's a business. We have to sell it, you have to sell it, or whatever it is. You know what I mean? I can't control what it is. But the point I'm trying to say is that the DC comic books, um, it's sad that people are losing their jobs, you're getting laid off. But again, part of it, it's like your fault too. You know what I mean? I don't feel as sympathetic. Like, even when DC and Marvel were shutting down their stores or whatever, I was like, I felt very, you know, the point of me was like, oh, man, I kind of felt very, very sad. But then it's like, you know, then it's like, Okay, I know you guys are going to come back. I do feel bad for the comic book uh, owners and the workers and stuff like that. A lot of their stores got hit by the riots and the looting and shit like that during the whole pro protests and the race war and stuff like that. A lot of them have to close shop because they're like, yo, this isn't worth it, man. This, is, this isn't making you money like that. You feel me? It's not making you a lot, a lot of money to uh, deal with all that. You feel me? So a lot of them close down. So I feel bad for them more than I feel bad for DC and Marvel comic book writers because they're going to get their money no matter what. You know what I mean? They're going to get their checks from 
AT&T and Warner Brothers. They're going to get that check from Disney, you feel me, and Marvel, you feel me? But I do think long-term, they're like, if this shit ain't making you money like it's happening right now, they're firing everybody, you feel me? And they might just keep Batman and Superman, or they might just license the characters out to whoever and make money like that, you feel me? Instead of them staying in the comic book, uh, American comic book industry, you feel me? Because it's not making them the money that they want, you feel me? Especially right now when the shareholders are like, we need that money now, we need that brand now. So, again, a lot of it's their fault. I don't feel as bad for them. They made a lot of dumb decisions. And we'll see what happens, you feel me? Again, I'm going to start paying attention to this a lot more. I wasn't paying attention to the comic book stuff as much because I was like, okay, well, DC and Marvel Comics, just DC and Marvel just being doing dumb shit regardless. It's like, you guys have freaking Black Widow and Wonder Woman. You guys are too pussy to drop that shit. Disney wants to drop Mulan, which is a safer kind of bat kind of route rather than putting an MCU movie where if you don't put it out at a certain amount of time, you're going to lose that hype and people are not going to care as much. So again... That's pretty much, and even a DC movie. So again, that's pretty much it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.